Hello, darling. How are you doing today? Well, you don't look okay. Hmm. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that you were tired. I mean, look at you. You are stiff and your eyes look heavy. What happened? Were you unable to sleep? Too much work, huh? Well, that's not good. Follow me. I need to take good care of you. Nonsense. As a center, I know how much self-care matters to a person. And for all the time you spend making sure I'm in my best condition, I think it's only fair that I get to help you. No, no, no complaining. I'm helping you and that's final. <laughs> Here we are. Just take your clothes off and lie down. Hey, don't look all flustered. If I want to get all the tension out of your muscles, I need to have access to your skin without anything getting in the way. Good girl. Oh, you got all red when I said that. Do you like it when I call you a good girl? I'm sorry, but when you're so obedient like that, I can't help but praise you, sweet thing. Now, go on, darling, lie down. Why are you so tense? What's a little massage session between friends, huh? <laughs> I'll just pour some of this oil on your back like so. And now, I'll gently wrap it in. The oil I'm using is natural. It also really helps keep my skin the way it is, since I spend most of the day in the sun transporting people. I think you're enjoying this. I can feel you loosening. <laughs> you're so adorable when you let out those little months. Oh, that's it, just relax. Oh, you're such a good girl. There we go. You seem to be all loaded up. Well, I'll start with your massage now. See? You were apprehensive at first, but now look at you. You have to let yourself get taken care of every once in a while. I've actually wanted to do this for a while, but I always knew you were shy, so I waited until the right moment. I've seen the way you look at me, and how much time you spend with me compared to the other centaurs here. Just because you were hard help doesn't mean you couldn't approach me on your downtime. And I know for a fact that the owner here doesn't care about interactions between worker and monster girl. In fact, he anticipates it. You got all scared for nothing. I mean, that's to be expected when working on a monster girl farm. We might not be as rambunctious as the girls who roam around freely, but we still have desires. <laughs> Well, we're just better at hiding them, though I can't say I wasn't wishing I were a wall center so I could just take you away with me. Then again, waiting for so long has made this moment so much better. And I know that you can't complain. After all, you're practically a bottle from my touch. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to move my hands down a little bit, okay? Shh, 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 shh. Don't worry, I'm not doing anything but massaging you. No, oh, you really are jumpy, but I think that was more of a sensitivity thing. You're still all loose. If you were actually nervous, 
it will be pretty tense. Well, now I know that if I touch you the right way, you'll make a cute little squeak. <laughs> Not just like a woman would do. But if I'm being honest, I always wanted to know what sounds I could get you to make. You know how much I like human women? It's not my fault. It's just, <laughs> when I see someone as shy as you, I couldn't help but think of what they would look like after I play with them for a bit. Uh, I mean, not in that sense. Uh, <laughs> you know I'm joking, right? <laughs> as a centaur, I've learned how to use my hands to do things that the rest of my body cannot. Obviously, we don't line up in that way, but that doesn't mean we aren't compatible. Quite the opposite. It's just that the wild types are raw dear and don't really care that much for the person they take at first. <laughs> they aren't like that on purpose. It's just that most of girls have strong urges and sometimes they forget that they're much stronger than a human woman. That's part of the reason why I waited for you to come to me. I knew it would only be a matter of time. I really enjoy the view of your body. So muscular. Though I must know, what part of me attracted you? You don't have to answer now, but I'm just going to ask so that you can think about it. It's clearly not my press because the whole source girl over by making Shad have a much more impressive past than me. It could be the color of my fur and animal-like features, but then some of the RPX producers will surely jump to you by now. <laughs> if they so much, you know, <laughs> as well that there was a possibility of an attraction. I didn't expect you to answer so quickly, or at all for that matter. It's really good that you're comfortable enough to not feel as shy around me. But yes, I can see why that moment made you attracted to me. I can't believe that it was almost a year ago when you arrived on the farm. I was watching from the stables, and a cute girl looking so shy and out of place walking with a farmer. Someone as shy as you. If he so much as left you alone with any of the groups of monster girls for a second, you would immediately be made into a toy. He started with stables to get introduced to the centaurs. My sisters here, well, they are a little rowdier than me. I suppose I've always been the older sister to them. Anyways, monster girls tend to have a knack for figuring out how fun someone is from a quick glance. It's how people carry themselves. The more dominant personality types are usually firm, head up, and make eye contact easily. The more submissive types, like yourself, usually are more tense. They head closer to the ground, and eye contact is like a tartar. <laughs> Depending on the monster girl, one type could be better than the other, though most only use it, well, to come up with a strategy. Me? I saw a skirt little fall in need of some comfort. Although the hug was for more than just comfort. I needed to get my son to you, so that the other monsters would leave you alone. And it worked. All right, I'm going to move to your thighs now, okay? Don't be shy. You can moan all you want for me, darling. <laughs> Such an adorable girl, a cute girl. I can see you moving your hips slightly as I rub along your hips and down to your thighs. Don't worry, there's no need to be embarrassed. It's only natural to feel this way when a beautiful woman is touching another woman. Especially when you've been never this close to someone before. I think I did a good job with your back. Why don't you roll over for me? You'd want to? <laughs> <laughs>